Ebusia dia enyoma eko wo ye man ga na mu no nyame anim ne kwe ni ubusa me a asemba kwa betumi aka ne sese nyam panimfo mienu miensa omo nyina ete se atoni general gofer dame a omo betumi akasa amu bia bo shake seya anke be boa omo man ga na pa ebusia ma mi cha na mo akwa ba emfa omo possible multimedia we a life from court ebusia ene dey Amanebo eni nchemu etre se. Atwani jenwa gofre dami ankasa ankasa ne starti cross examination with Richard Jakwa. Na first question ubusa ya ne se. With the letter ukita and with the information he has with him and in his possession. Ubusa ya ura third witness Richard Jakwa se. Uklemi 28%. Of the uh, of that particular amount of money involved, no, claim me twenty eight percent, which is equivalent to seven thousand euros. A no cre, and I say no cre. With some signatures that belongs to him, and now with his signatures below it, I express a yen idea, and I say express a or receive this kind of year can was a more he. I wish I a what? And I'm an about any time we express a. Jeru Richa Jaka Ujina Hana ne who was so. Ujina hana no hoye de ne hoye wo so. En oye, oye se o peso o place mat. E wana o se, em letter no kita o hono. There is no signature. E wana he lost ship e fi ase wansu. E be o mu se, adena o kita o wana information e kita o hono mu. O lawyers a shem a jia tu mu se, e be ye a dance ye e wo ha. Inte dena ujina ha o oke kano. Masa kan e letter no. Na, wafa jina hona ne ho po. Ebusha di air course wo man gana me say me de bia maka de bia mi guso ka say asem we em peni pa ni pa ne pen ho asem i didn't na me ka say me ko twa me be man na say me nya ntwa nso a me pieto nso enka ho ana why your ho anu akoko de ni say say wo na wo de contract ne ba ye ntino e say wo kon wo claim me 28% equivalent to 7000 euros eh mm boy boy I was saying, "Come, we are saying, Richard Jappa, a B N, and okay, say, my Lord, I will confess." Mr. Ramen, but say, "Me cast an bad thing, say, no, come home." Now, when you say, "Me no money, say, money, we are not be bitter, we are just, we need to find so free, free." Now, chat with your comment section, no, I say, "Nyako pong, insha Allah, ina." Now, Jappa, who was so, who was so, he was cross examination box, no, any question, sir, attorney general, be pim pim, no, no, any answer, get to Now, I started, you know, Anna, the prosecution led by the attorney general. A tender in exhibit 82. Exhibit 82. And was Mr. Japa? Exhibit 82 ni. Mr. Rohe. Naka di wumu che. Japa ankasa. And na. Atoni general say. Exhibit 82 ye kwa wi. E ye document. Ya e chre kwa ya ofa so. E klemu 28% of the amount of the contract. As agent fees. In the people you call we a affidavit, yeah, we swear you say on Saka twenty eight percent of the amount of the contract as agent fees, yeah, a year seven hundred thousand euro. Sanity and I, yes, I need here. Japa Ankasa and Attorney General Bill say, Mr. Japa, I am putting it to you, say, document you call we is an affidavit you signed indicating. So you've received twenty-eight percent of the contract sum as agent fees. The bank will be in anwa. The person, my lord, this document has no signature. Document in anwa, the crime in anwa signature be in so. A while now, justice a fear say what sorry but you sorry. I must say, Mister Japa, this document has been tendered in as evidence and accepted. By your lawyers and lawyers for the first accused and the persecution. So please read it. I say, Jaka, there is no signature now. Okay, come. So I say, can I tell you, can we? Ya ji atu muse e ya dance die. Who lawyers are ji atu? First accused, case la to force and lawyers are ji atu. So soon na omai ya lawyer for ya en boko en dunuzo ebe a ji atu. Enti mesra o kenka. Na se. Hey, in this affidavit, you be you be you be remove Apart from say, Japa, 
28% as agent fees. What do you hear? The party agent fees in this affidavit is said or no the pa any dear genomu emma big C Jenatin Limited. Ghana buying yarn in the procurement of the ambulances. And our dinner campaign, a friend with Japan Business Limited, and also a G another percentage of agent fees say, and a company Japan Business Limited, and Ababa an intermediary between Big C in Dubai and the government of Ghana, represented by the ministries of health and finance. And the Japan on one case, Jinaho as an agent, ya will broke a deal, and a company Japan Business Limited, and Swagina as an intermediary. Ya or no, and they have a government of Ghana and the big C in Dubai. A din sa was so in this ambulance day. And no, any information I hear contained in the affidavit. Ya le bonus AT2. Ya Japan King Kaya or to Papa so. And to just say, as I was able to say, Ya Jatunada, say Ya dance the crater, and to Japan King Kaya you. And now, Attorney General said, We said, Mr. Japan. The order of the court, yeah, yeah, exhibit A T two. It refers to an affidavit. One kasana was signed here. Then she say, "What is this? Can be? I no cry. I no say I no cry." Japa say, "On the face of what is written here, that is correct, my lord. I signed the affidavit." Tia 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 tia. The Mister Japa say, "Kira tanu e kita mi. Aya aya document A T two." Ya a ye affidavit, ya a tre sika ya maji and a no cre, miankasa and a massa. Natia some attorney general say with I. Attorney general say, as an agent, if you received 28.7%, how much did the principal receive? Now, my mentor will mention the entire contract, you know, 30 ambulances nearby. Ghana Boka 2.37 million you. And I told you, Jenna, see, who nipa bako, what to me at 28.7% say agent fees? Yeah, a year tantamount to 700,000 euro. And yes, you can say, the nipa no kasa, where's the key to contact him? Dapa, then Sabaka. Dapa, and Sabaka, and I say, I am not BC Limited. Tio. Who no who ya intermediary ya who represented the company in Dubai wa hano who name sika company ni ji but who wa agent fees dia okay. Jakwa se I am not BC LLC. I wouldn't know because I am not the CEO of Big C General Traders and neither am I a staff. Enti ha Jakwa yin mo afri afri Big C juma di se onye CEO ena onye Big C juma yini. And he si can't say what can big sin sa. A mara wa no to me a pocket seven hundred thousand euro out of the contract sum on to me check. And I told you general see Mr. Japa. I am putting it to you that between yourself and Big C Limited, you received about fifty percent of the total sum of two point three million euro as agent fees paid under the ambulance contract. And it became your profit. And this is why you didn't deliver to the nation the new ambulance. And I'm, I told you, General, I said, I'm a catcher. Contract a year 2.37 million euro. So, I won't go out to me 700,000 euro as agent fee. Now, a company, a friend, Japan Business Limited. And so, if you don't have it, I said, I'm also over 400,000 euro as agent fee. Who can give me a new one? It is more than 1 million euro as agent fees. O kwa tifri 2.37 noa. E ye less than 2 million euro. E na big C4 no. E de manufacturing bonus ni di amaye. Na wenda wafa suwe wye. E ti die pa ne betu mi asha wo se. Provide value for money for this nation. When you've already profited. Whereas the nation hasn't received the ambulances. Wenda wun se tam. E mre ambulance ni maye. E bende wun kofada kato ni emre. Ti wey ni kwasti na. Attorney General put to Japan. And Japan say, Osre, court to man bre, na on king kind, afi debit ni on, di on no asan yen, on sign, yen king kind, yen na on kai kai se bi, na on fa answer Attorney General question. Now answer wede ma yen ye, en fa question se ni hou bebi ya, but me king kind, I will quote him, ye bi an yachiri, Japan say, my lord, what the prosecution is alleging, 
is completely false because this project went through various stages of approval, negotiations with government for years. In fact, the first proposal was submitted in 2010 and I was not part. The ministry has experts in ambulance specifications. This contract of exhibit V was drafted by a government and the valuation for the cost of the ambulances, which is 15.8 million euro, was done by the government. After the ministry had satisfied itself that they were getting value for money, they proceeded to cabinet. Cabinet did it due diligence and also satisfied. After cabinet, the specifications proceeded to parliament. The health committee of parliament sat on this ambulance project. Health committee no omo trans ambulance project. Omo ne did deal so. Sa memorandum of understanding no. Ya mo big si wo be bia. Ene de japa ene etu na lumutu on this memorandum of understanding in his reply. They thoroughly examined the technical specifications and compared it to the cost that cabinet had approved. The Committee on Health in Parliament also approved it and forwarded to the plenary of Parliament. At the plenary, both NPP, his own government, and the NDC voted for it according to his own conscience after thoroughly pursuing the technical specifications. It was a, 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 a baseless history. History will be an another. History when a twenty general D kind of buyer say, who campaign the big C was never mentioned in this memorandum of understanding because when the committee sat down, it was supposed to be a loan facility facilitated by Stambic Bank. And I'm for Parliament to with that parliamentary approval. I'm an acquire GOG in negotiation with Japan Business Limited straight away to big C in Dubai. And then the other one said. Asamu boshi shi wodi ewo confessi. Ena atoni jena esi. Anda exhibit V. Contract between Big C and government of Ghana received either government or parliamentary approval. Enti wasi sa exhibit V no asisi ya wako fa betu ma woka mwasha. Ya ababe ya between government of Ghana and Big C and Ujapwe Business Limited. Abaya ama approval. Ghana Marsebe Janso Ama Prova. Jakpa unim sa yenti answer Jakpa de ba. My Lord, I am not in the position to answer. And a justice efia se wa se rebut see. What is on the document? And I was on the face of the document. Parliament didn't approve Exhibit V. And the Exhibit V noa ebe a contract between government of Ghana and a big C. With an intermediary affair in Japan Business Limited, you have to go two or seven bus buses and the brake in. So you find your ambulance now. And need the Japan agent to be called documenting the crowd. You can't lie when you are holding a document in court. It is, it is impossible. Japan agent to me say, "Ghana must be done." And so, and I will say, my lord, BC has rather incurred huge losses occasioned by the government. And the Yawa was the one. Huge losses of Corona, big CIA in Keno, the power of Nabichi. And Attorney General say, look at exhibit N. That is the cabinet approval. Is it not? It does not refer to the approval of a contract with big C. Japa was my lord. As I said earlier, I am not a member of cabinet. And Attorney General say, Mr. Japa, you are holding the document. Does this document mention Big C in there? Dapa, was it? I think the one who signed will be the best to answer. And I just said, "Please, Mr. Dapa, you are in possession of the argument. Answer the question." And Mr. Dapa said, "On the face of the document, Big C is not mentioned in the contract." On the face of the document, Big C is not mentioned 
in exhibit. I'll tell you, Genesis. Please look at exhibit Q. It does not refer to approval of the contract with Big C. The pastor said, the best person to answer will be the clerk of parliament. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, Genesis. Look at clause 6.3 of the contract. It talks about delivery terms. I had seven one. Clause 6.3 no a delivery terms. Now me contact me can come with my me in chill. Delivery terms in it say there is no way a letter of credit should be established before these conditions are met. Condition number one big C be manufactured the ambulance. Condition number two, an ex party will be sent over to Dubai, comprising of members from the Ministry of Health, from the Ministry of Finance, from the Ghana Ambulance Service, to go and undertake inspection works on the manufactured ambulances in Dubai and submit a comprehensive report to the government of Ghana as to the state of the newly manufactured ambulance. That is the second point. It is saying ambulance and TBSTA, we are a material specification. And then condition number three is that ship the ambulances. Condition number four is that after shipment of the ambulances, another party is sent to the port to ensure, say, the Yakoha and would Dubai no, Sapa Pepper no Mudiaba before and sign a 25% of the contract sum is established through a letter of credit. These are the conditions. And not an attorney general, Ebusa, Mr. Richie Japan, and he was a man of crying now on King Kai documenting to work in Kamuna and attorney general side of the board. No, see, this contract was signed in December 2012. Let me say, Jack, my lord, it is true, it was on the 19th of December 2012. And attorney general say, the clause I am referring to. Is a contingent clause on others. And the Japan say, Yes, my lord, it is true. The contingent clause is no. And I'm a chichi mo. And the actual. When he became main driver, what did he do to us? In fact, at the time when we went through challenges which were domestically induced, I won't say that governments do not encounter challenges. Every government will encounter challenges. But the difference between the good leader and the bad leader is that the good leader is not saying that there will be absence of challenges. But a good leader is the one that in the presence of challenges and difficulties is able to mobilize the people, work with them to get them out on the, on, on the path of prosperity and progress. When he encountered challenges, when we were in energy crisis, when doctors were asking for better conditions of service, when nurses, the poor parents were asking for support for their children to go to school, he told the poor people in this country that if you only vote for me on the basis of the restoration of your nurses and teachers' allowance, then I'll ask you to vote against me. He told the doctors that he's not ready to negotiate with them on anything. At a time when we didn't have power, he was increasing electricity. When we told him that it's becoming too expensive, even though it's not there, he said if it's becoming too expensive, stop charging your phone. That is that fine difference between John Mahama and Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. We have a government that says that, yes, we acknowledge that there are challenges. The economic indicators have, haven't been easy. But we beg you, we have to take some hard pills now to be able to get ourselves out of this once and for all. Mm. Shall we look at these solu solutions? We need to do debt, debt restructuring. Please, you need to let go a certain portion of your asset. It is just to save the state. We need to come back on our feet. And this government has been working day and night, day and night slowly to try to get us out of it. You are saying that we should get this government out and bring you. You who encounter, tell me, what was the global economic challenges we encountered in 2013, 14, 15, and 16 that warranted the difficulties we went through? We didn't have power simply because we had generators but had no money to buy fuel to power the generators. The that same was all. challenge we're facing now. No, we are not. The same challenge we faced for 10 weeks. The same challenge we faced for 10 weeks. So that's the same challenge, and you are right. For 10 weeks. Why would you let go a government that put you through that challenge for 10 weeks for a government that put you through for three years? That is why Ghanaians don't trust him. That poor woman that you left her child at home for not accessing senior high school is the one going to vote against you. 
that senior high school, that basic school dropout, who wanted to go to school so bad, but couldn't go because...